Hello ma'am my name is Dabal Pandav I am from collegedinner.com a very warm welcome to our interview series which is called thoughts on education where we interview with the various dignitaries such as owners vices principals hods and teachers before i proceed with this interview i would request you to give brief introduction about yourself ma'am good morning i am minu khan i am a psychology by profession i have done my masters in psychology and education i am working in this field of education since last 16 17 years I've been associated with this college for a couple of years now and I've been in this industry and it's an honor and a pride working for this college and it's not just a college it's a brand name now we are a accredited college now and I'm very proud to be associated with this college and I am heading the department of uh, humanities here It was really nice knowing about you and your experience ma'am so my first question is are you held key position at education institute throughout your professional career What keeps you connected with the education sector, ma'am? My zeal and passion to be connected with students because they are the future of our nation, and so working with them closely, hand in hand, uh, it gives it is a it's a good opportunity here in education sector. These are uh, the budding uh, students of uh, our nation. So whatever profession they choose, henceforth, I think I can make an impact uh, choosing their career, helping them choose their career. Being the HOD in the Humanity Department of uh, Rina Mehta, what are your roles and responsibilities toward the students? I think this is such an open environment. We work as a family here that uh, we are not restricted to our roles. Okay, I am heading uh, Department of Humanities and Social Science. I teach psychology. I work with other departments. I am also the college counselor. This is an institute, one of the institute which. as a college does have a counselor because it understands the uh, how important mental health of students and teachers is so that is why they have appointed me as a counselor as also so i work hand in hand and then meeting parents teachers conducting workshops and you know all the projects like currently i'm also working with an institute where we are conducting psychometric tests for all the students so of course they have taken up a course but then how uh, should they proceed further do they know themselves so they are doing personality assessment and all those stuff so yeah the, the rules are not limited whatever comes in we are handed over responsibility there a lot of trust that institute puts in us so it, this is a lot of growth opportunities as well do you have any extra curriculum activity or program to enhance the skills of students yes we do have right from sports arts all the extracurricular activities and we do currently uh, conducting workshop for students on various topics uh, be it mental health be it uh, seminars on bsc nsc economics so it's related to subjects it's related to life as well yoga sessions everything has been conducted so physical mental wellbeing everything has been taken care of for of the students and teachers as well What are the interventions and approaches you bring apart from this uh, curriculum to make it industry oriented? Uh, we have career guidance sessions. So as I said, we are doing psychometric test. Based on that, the evaluation, the profile of the student that comes out, we will now be having seminars and workshop for students. We also have placement center, so counseling center and placement center works hand in hand. so that we can guide the students in making wise decisions for their future careers sometimes students get a little lost they are confused as to okay i am in this course but where do i go from here so we guide them we give them opportunities to work in college we offer internships in college as well as outside we will very soon have job fairs as well. any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and aspiring students mm-hmm. i think we need to work on the patience level which i see a little less these days and i think also they need to learn to communicate more openly because i feel very strongly that if there is a problem there is always a solution so don't remain stuck with the problem work on the solution be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem it was pleasure and talking we are all here for them thank you it was pleasure talking to you and interviewing thoughts on education ma'am thank you so much thank you